So stress, there's two types of stress. One is distress, which is the one that causes tension, aggro, anxiety, and all kinds of negative uh, physical problems, which we'll mention in a moment. The other is eustress, EU, eustress, which is good stress. So if today you found out you won $20 million in the lotto, your heart rate would go up, your face would become red, your muscles would tighten up because you're gonna jump two meters off the ground, being ecstatic, and that's good stress. It only lasts for a while. It doesn't last for months and months and months, day in, day out, like bad stress does. Good stress is good. It's really good. Go on a, uh, a helicopter ride over the Grand Canyon or uh, bungee cord jumping, maybe. Um, that kind of stress is exhilarating for some. Distress is different. That's the chronic worry, the thing that wears us down. And those of us who are alive and everybody listening is, we know what distress is, but we'll call it stress. Stress is related to heart disease, high blood pressure, stroke, uh, cancer, uh, obesity, anxiety, depression, and a whole bunch of other illnesses. Stress is not good, especially prolonged stress. So if you're a pain sufferer, a chronic pain sufferer, and one out of five Australians are, and you are experiencing ongoing stress, basically your stress is ramping up your pain. It's like turning on the radio, the volume on, and we can listen to it really nicely, and then pain comes along and makes it so loud that it's unbearable, and we have to turn it down. Now, wouldn't it be nice if there was a dial that we could do naturally to turn on the volume of pain? And there is, there's several things, but we're gonna talk about one in particular that, that I love. First of all, medication is probably not the best way to do that, and that is recognized by pain specialists themselves. Side effects of medita med medication uh, would be uh, cardiovascular, uh, constipation, stomach problems. Um, dependency is a really big thing, opiate dependency, as we know. And of course, we get used to medication, so it doesn't work anymore. So what can we do naturally? I want to talk about meditation. Now, when I was younger, when I first came to Australia, I was a, probably an anxious, driven young man. Uh, I realized that if I was going to keep up with my foot to the pedal to the metal and doing a red line thing with my motor that I probably wouldn't last that long. So I started studying meditation, reading about it. I started with Dr. Ainsley Mears in Melbourne and he started me on the path that changed my life. I realized that there's things I could do with my breathing that would totally change my body chemistry in 20 minutes. It took me a while to learn it, just like anything we want to learn. It took me a while to learn it, but it is absolutely brilliant, very simple. We're gonna to touch on it right now. You probably have heard about it. Many of my patients say, you know, I've always wanted to do that. There's some great teachers around. I'm just gonna give you a taste, and that's simply breathing. For me, it was breathing. There's many forms. I breathe in through the nose, and I breathe out through the mouth. I sit down in a quiet place, even a noisy place, even in a train station. Eyes open, eyes closed, breathe in through the nose, and breathe out through the mouth. I used to breathe in for the count of six, Breathe out for the count of 12, and then I got bored with that. So I just realized I don't have to do that. Just breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. And as you do that, you feel yourself calming down. You feel your shoulders dropping, your facial muscles, which are often always very tight, really. They relax. Your tongue relaxes in your mouth. You feel your organs settle down in your pelvis. And you're sitting for this, by the way. You don't lay down because you'll fall asleep. And sleep is different than meditation. And as you do this breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth, your thoughts will go all over the place. That's normal. That's fine. Just bring them back when you realize you're drifting in through the nose and out through the mouth and let yourself relax more and more into the chair. Within about 15 minutes, you will experience what is called the relaxation response. And that is simply a complete change in your normal biochemistry. Your blood, which is very acidic with lactate, suddenly drops down and changes. Your neurotransmitters change, and you find yourself becoming very, very calm. You don't fall asleep. If you do, a little snort, you wake up, go back to your breathing, breathe in through your nose, down through your mouth. You probably need some help with this. Start reading about it, Google it. Everyone knows Google's right on everything, so you're gonna find nothing but accurate information out there. Get some guidance, talk to us about it, Talk to your healthcare practitioner. There's people out there who, that can help you. But taking control of your life by learning to control your mind and your breathing will change your perception of pain. 
To make sure you get our weekly videos via email, go to the subscribe page or use the link in the description. Another great way to get our video updates is to follow us on social media with the links below. And thank you for watching.